Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm here with Martina and I'm super excited because she's actually our very first hard science guest. So she'll be talking all about her major. So why don't you tell us what your major is? I am just a biology major. Um, and I actually have a concentration in physiology just because it is medically related. Um, and so physiology, um, basically what I'm concentrating in for my major is how the functions of the body relate together. So how we, you know, process things, how we do digestion, how um, our brains work, you know, stuff like that. And so that's kind of where my concentration is. Biology is the study of life and that's kind of why it is um, pretty po a popular uh, major by like med schools. Uh, what are some type of classes that you take as a biology major and then more into your uh, concentration as well? Okay, great. So um, as a biology major, the, you know, you take your general uh, classes, like I took up to Calc 1, um, and then you kind of go into, you take your basic chemistry, your basic biology, that's kind of more of like your general requirements. Mm -hmm. And then when you go more into like the bio route, into your upper division classes, you have to take um, like different types of biology. So we kind of think of biology as like two separate categories as more of like the molecular side and as um, like life sciences. So you have to take um, like molecular biology at the molecular level, genetics, you have to know about genomes and inheritance and um, all of that fun stuff. And then you do take uh, ecology classes just for those people who do want to go into like life sciences. Um, people, people study plants, people study trees. Um, and then as a physiology concentration, which is usually done your fourth year, um, you start to take classes like neurobiology, where you're just learning about the functions of the brain, or taking classes um, like immunology, where you're learning about how, you know, receptors fight disease and, you know, that all of that fun stuff. And that's pretty much the whole physiology concentration. Some people are also molecular concentrations at our campus. Mm -hmm. um, and then we have the ecology comp component, which is um, like life sciences. Why don't you talk about a little bit what you want to do specifically with your major, and then we can kind of get into the different routes that you can go with that. Okay, so um, <laughs> personally, I am pre-med, so, um, and I am a fourth year in, in my undergrad career right now, so I am applying to medical school in the um, summer, which is very exciting. Um, personally, I want to go for an MD-PhD because I didn't want to restrict myself to just being a doctor. I also wanted to teach. So I wanted to be able to expand my horizons and mm -hmm. so I'm actually applying for MD-PhD programs, which sadly are harder to get into. <laughs> but um, it's something I, I fell in love with teaching through doing some like tutoring at the on campus mm -hmm. and um, it's kind of something that I didn't want to let go of and I wanted to continue in my career. So you want to teach like at a college level? I was hoping school? like medical school level. Oh, mm -hmm. oh dang. Good. So teach after I learned it, of course. I just like the component of teaching. Mm -hmm. um, and I liked it at the graduate, uh, the undergraduate level where uh, I was tutoring my peers. Mm -hmm. um, I just feel like the level of comprehension is one that I would want to elaborate on in my future career. I know biology is very commonly used to go into the medical field, mm -hmm. but what other kinds of careers can you go into with a biology degree without having to go into that medical field? Oh yeah, so a lot of people are like, I'm a bio major, but I'm not going into medicine. <laughs> and I can completely agree with that. It is a long route. Um, if I didn't feel as passionate about it as I do, I would not be doing it. Mm -hmm. um, it was just something I kind of always knew that I was going to be a doctor. And till now, I've never changed my mind. Um, you can also go into like industry. Um, and so with a biology degree or a biotechnology degree, which are very like similar, um, you can apply, even with a bachelor's degree, you can apply to um, local companies that develop um, drugs, that develop um, vitamins. Uh, that's really popular a lot in San Diego County. <clears throat> you could also do something called a physician assistant, which is still medical, but it is uh, less schooling. It's two years versus four years. 
and you can always choose to become a scientist and run a lab and that's pretty awesome it's something that i might consider doing in like a year off or something and do you need to have a master's or a phd to do any of that or you can get that with just a bachelor's so usually industry so working at like a biotech company or um some pharmaceutical work you just need a bachelor's okay, it cool. you get hired and you get paid more if you have a master's degree mm -hmm. um and to get a master's it's really not um that intensive it's usually about a year to two years um and you get about a twenty thousand um, dollar raise on average when you have a master's degree so um that is probably something that if you are <laughs> if you're considering biology think about doing a master's the amount of money you put in to gain that um, level of education is a lot more is a lot less. I'm sorry a lot less than what you're going to have to um, Spend later so it is worth it if you're thinking about it like in an income sense And then so you kind of talked about that you want to go to, to the medical field and that's something that you've always thought of you've never mm -hmm. changed so can you Talk about why you chose biology uh, other than or compared to other Majors? Majors, but sure. in hard sciences. I, to be completely honest, I chose biology because I thought that was the most relevant. <laughs> um, I was thinking, you know, I'm going to become a doctor, mm -hmm. so the study of life, which is biology, would be the most appropriate. Uh, I actually, you actually don't need to have a biology degree or a chemistry degree or any hard science degree to go to medical school. I um, actually applied to one school as a music major because I sang for my entire life and I, I love music and I wanted to do something that wasn't hard. <laughs> um, but I kind of thought about it in a more logical perspective. Are there any regrets that you have or anything within your college experience that you think looking back that you could have done differently or you wish you would have done or any regrets in general? Personally, I have a lot of regrets. One of them was neglecting my student orgs. I had so many res resources on campus that I just kind of turned my head from. I mm -hmm. didn't really consider that until um, a leadership position came along. So with pre-health, I went in uh, as event coordinator and somehow I worked my way up to president within a year. Um, and all of the resources that I had on campus, I didn't utilize them until I was already in my third year and I am not ready for the MCAT and I have to take a gap year by force, you know, because I'm not ready and I don't want to apply with my stats like low. Um, so definitely planning early. I would plan as a freshman or even as a senior in high school. Yeah. Um, start thinking about a plan and what classes you're gonna take and talk to everyone you can. Do not just take the advice from one counselor and go with it. Talk to mm -hmm. multiple people, go to conferences, just go show up in a nice suit or dress or whatever and introduce yourself. You'll be amazed at how many people remember you. Um, even if you are just a freshman, you say I'm just a freshman pre-med student. Uh, maybe another regret that I actually did um, is I took on too much. I did too Ooh. much at once. Mm -hmm. So I'm you know, a fairly intelligent person, but my grades were impacted by how much extracurricular I was doing. I was working a job, I was going to school full time, I was doing an internship, and biology classes aren't easy. There are a lot of information at once and you have to be able to sit down and memorize that information. Mm -hmm. It's different from like chemistry and um, math where you can derive equations, where you can figure out it by logic. Biology is straight up memorization. So um, that is definitely something to consider. Do one thing per semester. So if you're gonna be part of a student org, just do that and study. If anything is going to impact your grades, it's, it's not, not worth, worth it. it. It's better for you to take a year off after medical school or after um, undergraduate and do all of that stuff. Go mm -hmm. intern for a year, go do you know work for a year versus impacting your and I know you kind of just talked about some advice, but any other future advice that you have for anyone who is thinking about becoming a biology major or thinking about going into the medical field that's, you know, they're gonna declare going the pre-med route, what would you yeah. give? Um, the very first advice that I would give to anybody who's considering it is make sure you know what you're getting into. I love the career, I love biology, I love medicine, but I have a lot of friends who were in my beginning classes that are now um, different majors. So the major switching is real with biology. A lot of people drop out. Um, and a lot of people drop out of pre-med as well. 
um, and they choose to do something else within the sciences. So definitely, if you are considering it, go talk to somebody who's experienced. Mm -hmm. If there is a pre-health um, advisor on your campus, a pre-health club that's on your campus, go talk to the leadership team, go talk to the, your resources and see if it is for you. Go shadow. So I would suggest to go shadow a physician. See if that's even what you wanna do. When I started shadowing, I was 100% sure that medicine was for me. Um, whereas a lot of people go in and they're like, nah, you know. So um, that's definitely my biggest advice. And then my other advice would be take your time. You're going into such a, uh, an amazing and complex and dynamic field <laughs> that if you try and rush into it, you're not gonna be successful. Mm -hmm. Do what you have to do, take your time, take your time off and don't be discouraged. Um, I have a friend who is a physician and he went to med school at 40 and he loves his career and he has no regrets. So um, not saying that you have to go in when you're 40, but um, definitely like go in with ease. Go in with it happy. Don't go in sleep deprived. Don't go in um, like hating your life, don't you know? you If you're going into it, do it because you love it. Um, if you are a bio major and your GPA isn't um, the best, do not get discouraged. So there is still hope for you. There were so many videos that I would watch, uh, um, like even on YouTube, and they're like, don't apply to medical school if you have under a 3.6. I'm like, a 3.6? like. That means basically A's and yeah. like two B's in your whole entire career. Like, no, you can have B's and you can have C's too, even if you do have a C. Um, medical schools will determine each semester individually. So they'll look at every single semester you've taken, including community college, including graduate school. So um, a thing that a lot of people like to do is take a special master's program. So it's usually about a one or two year master's program, most popularly one. And um, people will, and in those, in those programs, you're taking classes that first year medical students take. So if you score highly in those classes, which most people who decide to go that route usually do, um, you, they, you like go from like here to here. Like you stand out incredibly because you can perform highly at the graduate level. What does that mean for med school? You're gonna perform highly in med school. Um, all right, well, thank you so much, Martina, for thank all that you. great information. For anyone who's thinking about being a biology major, hopefully this information helped you out to either make a decision or if you have any more questions, leave them down below. If there's enough questions, maybe we'll have Martina for a video <laughs> part two, whether it's about biology or more about medical school, since she is going through that process, maybe she can help you guys out with that. You guys really, everyone who's considering the medical field, everyone who's in college, everyone, you guys are all amazing. And um, you're gonna go really far in life as long as you stay dedicated. And even when you do lose that motivation, go to someone you trust, have a mentor. Mm -hmm. Go to some faculty at your school and introduce yourself. Have that support group and you will get far in life. So. On that note, <laughs> give yourself a round of applause, pat in the back, whatever makes you feel good. Congratulate yourself for however far you've come. And thank you all for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye.